Okay, well I just realised earlier that I had a heap of footage and I deleted it. So, we'll start again. Where am I? I'm at Capricorn Roadhouse. I got here yesterday. Uh, about 21 hours ago I got here. And um, I, I'm sort of basically stuck here. Uh, we got Cyclone. Tropical Cyclone Stan up the road and um, the road is actually open from Oski Road, well it's open to Oski Roadhouse so I can drive another two and a half hours and I'll have to stop but Oski's a shithole and I don't really want to stop there so I've made a decision to stop here in Newman at the Capricorn Roadhouse and um, at least I can have a shower here without having to clean the cobwebs out and stuff like that. Cause... Nah. <laughs> Oski would be disgusting right now. It's, 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 it's all gravel and dirt. So you, I guarantee you walk in the showers now at Oski with a bit of rain there. And there's just going to be mud tracked everywhere through all the showers, toilets, dining, everything. It's just going to be mud. It's a shithole. So. I'm sitting tight here. I uh, honestly don't know how long I'm going to be here. I'm expecting another day or two. Um, the cyclone is out to sea at the moment. I think it's due in 8 or 11 o'clock tonight um, in Port Hedland or into the coast anyway. I think it's going to cross the coast somewhere between Port Hedland and Pardue. So Pardo is north up the coast, and, um, and then it's going to track pretty much straight towards Marble Bar, Telfer, Nifty. Uh, that might change. Uh, at this stage, it's a bit early to say definitely what's going to happen, or you know, how much rain we're going to get out of it too. Rain is the big thing. Uh, rain is what's going to happen. You know, stuff things up for me and make me sit and wait for another day or two. Uh, there's already water over the road of the Coongan, um, the Oak Over, and maybe one or two other places. They're on the um, Port Headland to Marble Bar to Telfer or Woody Woody Road. So that road's closed and there's definitely water over it. And the day's drawing to another close at the Capricorn Roadhouse, Newman, Western Australia. 6.49pm. Dinner's on. I'm having a beer. I can't get Netflix working. No, I'm not going anyway. So, uh, yeah. Cyclone hasn't hit yet. I expect it to hit overnight. And we'll have a look at things tomorrow and see how we're going. Cyclone has crossed the coast. Uh, where's my iPad? And it is heading towards Telfer. Alright, I'm just trying to do stuff. Alright, still got road closures. That was updated up past four this morning. Um, Oski to Roebuck, still closed. And I need Oski to Port Headland to be open. So, no hope there. Um, here's the uh, tracking past well east of Port Headland. I was heading for Telfer. Well, here it was going to be close to Telfer. And I've got to travel through. Excuse me. I've got to travel to here, or basically across to here, and then all the way across to there. So, that's the track of the cyclone. I 
I'd say it's going to be another day or two before I can uh, travel there. So even if they do open the Ice to Port Headland section, there's no rush for me to leave. In fact, what I'll do is when they do open it and everyone rushes off from here, I'm going to let everyone go in front of me and um, I'm just going to take the time. I'm not gaining anything by joining the rush. So, but still, it's disappointing. The, um, it's not disappointing. But <laughs> okay. Port Headland has 11.2 millimetres of rain since 9 o'clock yesterday morning. So this cyclone has basically dumped no rain. Little to no rain. Port Headland as it went past. Um, oh god. Newman Airport has had more rain. Has had three times as much rain. You know, I'm here, I'm just a couple of k's south of the airport. We've had three times as much rain as Port Headland. <laughs> Work that one out. Look. No. Here's the current rain radar. Okay. That number two out there, I think that might be Telfer. So, they've had two milliliters or millimeters. Why do I just keep saying milliliters? God, I've been saying millimeters my whole life and now I'm saying milliliters. Anyway, that's current rain at the moment. So, you can see, it's going to create problems when we get out here because of the gravel roads. And they tend to shut the gravel roads down when they get rain on them. So, yeah. Yeah, it's really annoying though. I saw a photo on Twitter. Someone had taken. Of, um... This is what they've been doing at Port Headland while I've been sitting on the side of the road for two days in Newman. They're allowed to go out surfing. I'm not allowed to drive on the friggin' road. Now, I'm not saying they shouldn't be allowed to go surfing. I'm saying I should be allowed to drive on the friggin' road. So, uh, it makes me mad. It really does. Right, we made it to 
Quad Headland and I unloaded my pallets, there's maybe five pallets on it, it turned out to be ten. Somebody in Perth can't count. So um, just kicking back here, relaxing, I've just had a bit of, bit of dinner, I'm going to have a shower soon. Over in the driver's rooms over there. I'm actually parked in the yard at the moment. The sun's gone down. There's all the yard trucks parked up. So, there's the driver's rooms right over there behind that hino or whatever it is. And uh, we've got a bit of wind blowing. It's, um, it was dust blowing as I was coming into Port Hedland. Big clouds of red dust getting lined up. So. Man, I don't know why they closed the highway. I just can't understand it. I mean, there's a puddle over there. <laughs> there's a puddle, look. There's a friggin' puddle. I had to drive through a puddle to get in the yard. I Maybe mean, that's why they closed the highway. That's totally ridiculous. <clears throat> they have closed the highway behind me. <laughs> Between Megathar and Kerr Marina, that's closed now. And um, they've closed the highway between Port Hedland and Marble Bar. So I can't even sort of drive to Marble Bar and park up. So, <clears throat> yeah. But apart from that, it's. Oh cool. There's been. Apparently, Marble Bar's had nearly three inches of rain. It was between 9am and 3pm, so it's now nearly 7 o'clock at night. So I've had another four hours there. I don't know what's happening that time. Nullagain has had uh, nearly four inches of rain. So, <clears throat> yeah. They've had a bit of rain out there, but nothing here in Port Hedland where, you know, it was all disaster, doom and gloom. There was panic buying, the people cleaning water out of the supermarkets, bottled water and shit like that. Of course, none of these people had this stuff, had this stuff already bought and stored at home. They, you know, it's all panic buying. Dumbasses. Every year, there's cyclones. So why don't they have water put away at home? Food put away at home? You know, prepare. I mean, not doomsday preppers, but just be fucking prepared. <laughs> I mean, I've got a certain amount of water put away at home, and I've got, you know, like, 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 like the water I've got here. See that water? That water, which I bring with me. I bring that water with me on every trip. I can believe that sky's changing colour. Then. It's, um, it's not really, really pretty, but um, a bit of turquoise in the sky there. Cloud. Uh, uh, anyway, I've been monitoring the uh, Main Roads website and their alerts page. And um, the last alert said there was always road closures. I don't think they will change that overnight. It's unlikely, so I'm pretty much stopped here for the night. So. Um, I'm going to crack a beer and um, have a shower and I had a big day today, I worked six hours so uh, I'm going to, um, I don't know, I'll probably wake up early and just check things early in the morning and see if anything's changed overnight. I kind of settled in here in Port Hedland like I was in Newman. I'm not expecting anything to happen in a hurry. It'd be nice if it does, really would be nice. Like I said, I'm not making money while the wheels aren't turning. So, uh, <clears throat> it's a bit sad. And the, the other thing is that this is putting me, because normally I am heading south now. This is Sunday night, Sunday evening. And normally I've already come through Port Hedland on my way home south, empty. I don't know if I'm going to get back in time to, uh, to um, 
get out on the next trip. I might miss out on that one. So, there's two ways that can go. If I miss out, I can either stay at home and just have a few days off, or I can find another run to do. And hopefully get back, find a short run to do, and then hopefully get back into the normal swing of things. So, don't know. I wasn't planning on taking any time off until uh, um, the 19th of March, uh, March, March, yeah. So I was planning on working all the way through. I worked all the way through Christmas, New Year's and all that, and I was just going to keep working, working, working. I was going to take a week off near the end of March. Uh, I might have a week early. <laughs> Righto, I'm getting thirsty. Talk to you later.